All right, so continuing on with the factory talk, uh, SE and stuff of that nature, what we're gonna do is actually, you know, create our, our display, but first we wanna create a way to, uh, when we create a client, we want a, a way to quickly and easily shut down our client. What I mean by that is you, like say for instance, you wanna use certain keys on your computer or uh, that instance to actually shut down the client, you know, you're able to do so. Now a common one that I like to use is you come down here is, this would be called client keys and what you're going to do is come over here and do new and so as this is pulling up what you're going to do is you're going to add a new client key now I want you to understand that the implementation of using this client key setup is for you to be able to use a combination of keys to shut down a client now we are not we don't actually have a client yet we haven't built a client yet we haven't built our application yet but I want to lay down the foundation of why we're doing this and and go ahead and lay this into place so that when we go to it and we start using it in our application you understand exactly why right so first we're gonna go to add and this is going to pull up a screen that says your your keys that you want to specifically add now in this case we're going to pick uh, these are all the keys that are on your actual computer so you can use any combination you want to you deem to use right so in this case we're going to use something simple uh, we'll use Q and control and shift so what we're going to do is click that so we'll use uh, the control shift Q uh, and then so as we're doing that we can easily go in here and modify if we want to so in the combination we're going to do what we're going to, and you can do this for any different thing for the client keys you can do this for anything you want to right so it doesn't have to be to shut down a application or shut down a client you can you can use this to call something you can use this to um, even start a client you can use this to different do many many different things this I'll show you the combination of keys that we're going to use here you can do um, a press action a you know a repeat action a re, and and a release action and I'll show you that too but again so the combination we're using is control shift and the letter Q so if we if at any given time we use the three letters control shift Q that's what it's going to be the trigger point for the event we're doing and we're gonna call this uh, close client okay so what we're gonna do it as these are pressed in this instance we're going to use a press action right so you can do a uh, release action uh, a press action means the simple fact of as soon as I press the buttons that is when the action will happen a release action is when I press the buttons and then I released the buttons that is when the action would happen so in the case of what we're going to do is we're going to come over here we're going to go and see this pulls up another menu which is the command wizard right so this is going to be something you need to get used to um, which you can do many many different things but again when it comes down to it when you're using factory talk site edition you have a variability to use deeper tools and then you do with the me system so uh, we're going to be using the command prompt so instead of having like a graphic display and navigate to a display what we're going to do is we're going to go into all commands and we're going to come down here and we're going to choose close client now in the instance of what we're doing we could actually choose to open a client too but in our case all we want to do is something very simple and we want to close the display client all right so we're going to click next and we're going to call this current display right our file name or even the the so you can choose exactly what you want to shut down right so we're going to actually close the client now this is ex it, it really as simple as we want to use this this is the base implementation we're not going to do anything else but you can see now over here it adds the feature right here so it says okay so control shift can our control shift Q will actually close the client so this is what we're going to do we're going to click OK and we'll save this uh, and again save this right here and we'll call this uh, client keys or actually let's call this close uh, HMI client and then that way we can actually have that so now this is actually saving that to here so now if we go into the uh, client keys down here we can easily come in here and edit this anytime we want to or use this however we want to but again when it comes down to it 
our implementation of how we are going to do this is if we had a client running, right? So if we had a client running and we, we actually made a client and we had it running, we could then use these keys to shut it down quickly and efficiently without having to do anything else. So we don't have to add graphical buttons. We don't have to have different things to close the client. We don't have to add different things. We can just merely type in the keys or use the keys on the keyboard to do so. Now this shows you many different things. And the reason I like to use this feature is in many atmospheres, you have a keyboard available, right? And in all atmospheres, even if it's just a touch screen, you have a keyboard available that you can use on the client. You can actually enable the keyboard on the specific client as it runs. Now again, some of this may be, if you don't have any experience with uh, Factory Talk SE or Site Edition, you will be um, you know, questioning this right now. But again, when it comes down to it, when we get finished, you will be fluent in, in actually understanding how this is going and how this is working. So what I wanted to do is give a base implementation of how to do that. Now we will be doing macros as well, but again, when it comes down to it, I don't want to do a macro just yet. So uh, we need to create our first display as far as this goes too. So first and foremost, what I like to do, and you see right here, I pull up, I just right click. So if you didn't see that, I right click and go back to the very back, right? Display settings and display settings. You can change the color. Uh, we're going to change the back color to like a, like a simple gray just like this. And then we're going to come into settings and I want you to, to talk about the settings really, really quick. So um, in the case of what we're doing, we're just doing a batch station. So we could, we could really, it's best to do as much as you can on one screen, but keep it where it's not too busy. So the operator and the person using the system can actually fluently, you know, interact with it without any problems, right? Cause it, it depends upon how big your screen is and you know, how things are interacting that you, you know, how, you know, how closely they are when they're, they're pushing it with their finger, they don't want to actually push too much stuff, right? So our, they don't want to tr falsely trigger anything. So um, this is where you can do, you can change the size up here if you wanted to. So the current size, if we use the current size, it pops in a default content of uh, 960 as far as the pixels and then 540. Now, again, let me show you this. So if we increase the size of this, then we just merely do this. If we do current size, current size, that depends on how big we make the actual screen. So this is why I like to use this. And then what I like to do is turn these off and then turn on the size, the ma uh, main window to the runtime. So I like to, to actually make it the full screen. So, and the reason I like to do this is because when I make my client, I can actually add different features to this. And when I add different features to this, I can actually control the way that it functions anyway. So it doesn't matter whether it be uh, that you know what size that it could be but you you don't have to have this you can have it minimal um, you can have different buttons on here if you wanted to if you want to do minimal buttons uh, you can do the, the menu uh, or you can just choose to do the last known value so it meaning the last known value is if you had a screen before this right and this is okay to leave this check because we have the maximum screen open but if you had a screen that you call before this then it would it would choose it would deem to use that. So if you started your whole whole application with one screen and you did the rest of them off the last known value, then it would do that. But again, when you, if you're calling little small pop-ups, then it's going to actually do the last known value as the small pop-up. So be be cautious of that. Um, the title bar I cut off because I don't actually want to see my title bar on the actual screen right now. I will show you that effect as we build this screen out, but. When it comes down to it, as of right now, we're not going to do that. Uh, multiple this uh, up here uh, to talk about the display type, and I know I kind of kind of jumped around a little bit, but when it comes down to it, this is just the properties, right? So the display type is going to be replace. Uh, you can do a layover if it's just a layover, um, and that's mainly for like a pop-up screen, um, for that matter. And, and that's just uh, that that would be the way you would do like a pop-up screen, for that matter. So, and I'll show you this over here. So if we close one of these and we open up one of these right here, uh, this would be a pop-up screen. So if we were to come back into the edit of this, 
and we were to move this stuff let me see if I can get the uh, let me see if I can get to the back of this and if we come in the back of this this is going to be on top so you can do on top you can do a layover and that's that would be like a pop-up or something like that right and you see this is the last known value and that's this gives a indicator size of that's the size of that specific screen because it's just a pop-up right and they're calling a specific window where they want to call it like if you pop the screen up they wanted it to pop the screen up in a certain location on that uh, application right so now if we if, now you see me change all this stuff if I come over here it's gonna ask me to save I don't want to save because the simple fact of well I mean I was just showing you something so if I don't save I pop it back open it will go back to the default say uh, last state that it was in because again we didn't hit the save button so um, I did want to actually just show you a couple different things on display settings before we get into you know building the screen out because again when you come down to it you need to understand the way the screen is going to be working and the way it should work so again uh, this is just a preference you can do it many many different ways many different function um, but I like to use uh, the use current size and I like to change the size based upon when I'm calling my actual application using my client and you'll see that a little bit further in the training so um, as you go through this if this is your first time using factory talk se or site edition then you're going to have some questions i understand that but when it comes down to it when we go through and build this stuff out a lot of those questions will be answered so if you feel like you need to revisit any one of these videos after you go through the whole training please do so that's why i'm keeping them short sweet to the point um, I would recommend that you actually go through and you know put a notes or something like that to say okay maybe I need to revisit this to see how things you know would function or if I have a question about it I can revisit that um, again when it comes down to it uh, back color is really important you can do uh, security codes that would only allow the screen to actually pop up um, if a certain security code is active in this case we're not going to do that because we're going to have an application that's wide open we're going to control our our security based upon our application level and not our actual security level over here so you can do screen security if you want to is what i'm saying now if you you actually uh we talked about caching a little bit now caching is display caching now that means do you want to maintain the the appearance appearance if a change is made I do not want to maintain if I make a change on the application I want to refresh the screen and it make in the change that I made be there right so if I actually cache the system what's going to happen is it, the change would stay there until I cleared the cache so again this gives you the variability to um, you know change the cache or update the cache as far as that goes again we're just going to keep this as simple as possible so um, and behavior is really really simple um, we're not going to use any behaviors of what, what we're doing, but you can have commands where you do startup macros and shutdown macros as well. We don't actually have any of that stuff. We haven't built any of that stuff yet, so we're going to leave this stuff in um, in the state that it's in. And I just want to kind of go over this and talk about the way common settings are as far as this goes, because again, when it comes down to it, um, there's a there's a lot of uh, different components and different settings that can go in and I know if you're actually going back and looking at an application that you've seen in the past maybe you're working with the application then you're probably going to compare what we're doing here to the application that you're actually working with right and that could be formulated and done differently so what I want to do with this training is give you the availability to understand why we're doing stuff and then go about and understand so that when you're working on different applications you have the availability to understand oh they did this for this reason and they did this for this reason and I shouldn't have to mess with it or here's what I can do to correct the situation if you do have a problem so um, when it comes to it I just wanted to show you a couple different common things you can do with display settings and I know for some of you guys this is a little bit of overkill but again when it comes down to it there is a very diverse atmosphere that we're working in with factory talk side edition so I want to make sure we cover every um, everything that we possibly can 
and uh, eliminate all the questions that could possibly be there. So with all that said, we'll carry on to the very next video where we're going to start actually building out our application as far as the this screen right here. We're going to actually start building it out and actually throwing in some different components and just roughly drawing things out for the actual batching system. So we'll see you guys on the next one.